Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our webinar, an exploration of whole health for employers, hosted by the Detroit Regional Chamber in collaboration with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. My name is Cinziana Lucian, Senior Director of Healthcare Initiatives at the Chamber, and I'm going to share some information before we get started. Firstly, I would like to thank our longstanding partner, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, for their continued support of the Chamber. The Detroit Regional Chamber and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan have been working together for nearly 50 years. Blue Cross and the Chamber develop specific programs to help businesses create healthier workplaces and communities. We have a great program in store for you today around whole person health for employers. I do want to mention that there is no live Q&A during today's session. However, please submit any questions through the Q&A Teams function at the top of your screen. We will follow up with a post-webinar communication to attendees that will include responses to your submitted questions. So I do encourage you to take advantage of this and submit any questions you may have during our session today. So now it is my pleasure to introduce Sarah Linville, Manager, Chamber and Association Engagement, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Sarah, thank you for being with us today. Perfect, thank you, Cinziana. And good morning, everyone, and welcome to our webinar today. To kick things off, I'd like to provide a brief overview of the agenda this morning, as well as a quick introduction of our speakers. First, we are going to discuss why addressing employees' whole health needs is vital to a productive workforce. And then we'll transition into discussing how employers can address employees' whole health needs with a variety of solutions that provide members with access to convenient, affordable care options, as well as help them to better manage their conditions. And finally, we will review some information to provide an understanding of how dental, vision, and financial well being impact the whole health of an individual. Our speakers this morning are myself, Sarah Linville, Manager of Chamber and Association Engagement at Blue Cross, Kylie Corey, the per Portfolio Performance Manager in Market Solutions at Blue Cross, and Kathy Agnello, the Director of Specialty Benefits, Ideation, and Communications at Blue Cross. Before we jump into the content today, I'd like to provide a bit of information regarding Blue Cross, who we are, and what our mission is. And that mission is truly to be our members' trusted partner. We work diligently to ensure that our members have access to convenient healthcare options that provide them with the care they need when they need it, along with coverage that allows them to live healthier, happier lives. All in all, Blue Cross is committed to improving health, and we are doing that by increasing access to affordable, high quality care for Michigan's residents. So as we transition into the focus of today's discussion, I want to first explain why all of this information that we're going to review today is so important. And that's because poor health costs a lot of money. As an example, poor health leads to nearly $530 billion in losses annually due to decreased employee productivity. It's a lot of money. In addition, 90% of the nation's $4.1 trillion in annual health expenditures are for people with chronic and mental health conditions. And finally, nearly 60% of Americans are living with at least one chronic con condition today, such as hypertension or diabetes. The good news, however, is that Blue Cross is here to help solve for these problems and help employers support the whole health of their employees. Employee well being is not just a buzzword. Supporting employees' health and overall well being, both at and away from work, can help to lower cost and improve productivity. So, what does all of this information tell us? Well, it tells us that employee benefits matter. And as I am sure everyone on the line is well aware, insurance is a major component of an employee benefits package, but not just medical coverage, dental, vision, and financial coverage too. And so it is crucial that employers are providing the benefits that employees want. 
in a tight labor market, recruiting and retaining top talent is critical to the success of an organization. 40% of employees are at least somewhat likely to leave their current job in the next three to six months. Employers understand this concern, and as a result, as part of the recruitment and retention efforts, nearly two-thirds of employers are planning to enhance their benefits as part of the recruitment strategy and to better meet the needs of their current employees. But beyond simply offering great benefits, it's important to ensure that employees have exceptional experiences when utilizing those benefits. This can mean anything from providing them with access to simple and easy to use resources, access to convenient and affordable care options, along with access to programs and solutions that address their whole health needs. At Blue Cross, we are committed to employee health, head to toe and everything in between. And we are so excited to share with you today some of the solutions offered by Blue Cross and Blue Care Network to help members better manage their health. And with that, I will turn it over to Kylie to review some of these solutions with you. Thank you, Sarah. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today. As Sarah mentioned, I'm here today to talk about the many solutions that Blue Cross offers to help support our members' whole health journey. So we know that employees and employers are looking for the best benefits. We've heard what they want, and here listed are the solutions we have to meet those asks. Quite simply, Blue Cross is addressing member whole health with a very robust set of solutions to meet employee and employer needs. Blue Cross has teamed up with best-in-class partners to create this robust set of solutions designed to address whole person health, condition improvement, and reducing the total cost of care. We evaluate our portfolio and solutions on an ongoing basis, looking for gaps, addressing those opportunities for improvement, and working with vendors on continued innovation to provide the best whole person care. Additionally, we listen to feedback from customers and agents regarding the needs in the marketplace through inclusion on our multi-year solution roadmap. Sometimes the need arises to change the course to meet the needs of our customers to ensure we're providing the best possible benefit package. An example of intentional selection and evolution of our portfolio pertains to our virtual care solution, which was transitioned to Teladoc in 2024 and will be highlighted today. Similarly, our well being function was evaluated recently and will be upgraded to in 2025 to a solution with richer benefit offerings for our customers and members. As you'll hear more in this presentation, our ongoing mission at Blue Cross is to provide our members providers, customers, an integrated solution portfolio, which addresses their whole person health. Next slide, please. Okay, so next we have, apologies. There we go. So as we mentioned, creating a seamless, easy to navigate experience for employees and employers is a primary focus. We know there's a lot to manage and we want to make this journey as straightforward as possible. Consumer and customer insight gives us the ability to enhance our integrated solutions portfolio with strategic priorities focused on three core areas, care navigation, care delivery transformation, and condition-specific solutions. We continue to address those areas of market interest and need and integrate into our portfolio, looking for different ways for solutions to complement one another and our base pharmacy and medical benefit, which in turn drives seamless integration and addresses the whole person health through pathways addressed above. On the left pane, you can see our strategic programs that impact the cost and use of benefits, even those including dental and vision, which Kathy will be covering later on in the presentation today. Next slide, please. So um, many of us know how the path to parenthood can be challenging and can look different for everyone. When employees know that their employer supports their family building journey, minds are put at ease knowing that they can start a family without sacrificing their careers. 
Blue Cross has partnered with Maven, a partner that goes above and beyond the typical offerings and helping families in their transition to parenthood, as well as transitioning back to work. They also support questions throughout the entire family building journey via access to a cross-functional care team. The Blue Cross Family Building Solutions supports employers in this offering of a comprehensive solution for a variety of pathways into parenthood. So next, we'll speak to women's health, which doesn't begin and end with family planning. Blue Cross also provides support beyond the childbearing years. We know that your employees are of all ages and how impactful menopause can be on whole person health. This further supports Blue Cross's commitment to offering personalized solutions so employees can get the care they need when they need it. Whether your employees are considering expanding their families, experiencing pregnancy, have young children, or are going through menopause, Blue Cross and Maven are here and ready to help. These journeys can be exciting, but we also know they can be challenging, which affects mental and physical health of your employees and their families. And we're excited also to highlight the menopause piece of the solution as being the first to market in Michigan, which was launched in July of 2023. So another whole person focused solution that we have in our portfolio is cancer support. As you can see on the left, prevalence is at 1.9 million newly diagnosed cancer cases per year with an annual spend of almost $209 billion in 2020. This was up from $151 billion in 2018. Despite the rising trend in spend here, advancements in cancer treatment technology are becoming more targeted. We know that this innovation can drive costs and also have a greatly positive impact on those who are fighting cancer, as well as their loved ones. Furthermore, we know that encountering cancer goes beyond the physical impacts, but also impacts emotional well-being of their patient and that of their entire support circle. Next slide, please. So how do we address growing cancer spend and prevalence while meeting members where they're at? Meet Iris by Onco Health. To get here, Blue Cross engaged in a rigorous RFP process to identify cancer navigation vendors who would best meet our needs and the needs of our customers. Through working with an outside consultant to expedite the review of these partners, we went with an additional list of 173 vendors in this navigation arena and then pared down to 10 finalist candidates. From those 10, we pared down to four finalists and conducted an in-depth analysis of their capabilities. Ultimately, we arrived at IRIS, which we believe has the most comprehensive member-focused solutions to help guide members and their caregivers through the cancer journey. IRIS is one of the first digital telehealth platforms for people with cancer on the market. Onco Health is also a leading digital health company that partners with health plans, including other Blues plans, and they're able to scale to serve a national audience. They have 10 years of experience in oncology and strong financial backing. Again, these solutions are not only focused on reducing the total cost of care, but also the whole person impact of cancer, emotional, financial, and physical. This IRIS platform went live for Blue Cross members in 2024. Next slide, please. Okay, so now we've talked about physical health. Let's shift into behavioral health which also has major impacts to employee well-being. We have solutions for that too. First, let's go into the prevalence of behavioral health. One in five Americans live with mental illness. 55% of adults with mental illness did not receive any treatment in the past year. Additionally, there's two to three times greater spend for members with a secondary, primary or secondary behavioral health condition. Furthermore, a study by JAMA in 2022 found that employer-sponsored mental health programs are associated with large clinical improvements in depression and anxiety, fewer days of missed work, higher employee retention, and a positive financial ROI across all employee salary levels. With this rising need, 
Blue Cross has implemented an integrated behavioral health solution, which addresses whole person care at each point in their care journey. This solution addresses the barriers listed here on this slide. Next slide, please. So you can see here, we have a comprehensive set of behavioral health focused solutions that offer care through a variety of entry points. Today, I'll focus on a few of those. First, telehealth. Second, our upcoming employee assistance program, which is launching in 2025 in Blue Cross Coordinated Care. From a telehealth perspective, our options offer direct access points via a variety of pathways. First, we have virtual care. Next, we have expanded access to national virtual providers, such as able to, and we also have mental health self-guided screening support through Teladoc. Next, we'll go into the offerings of our Blue Cross Coordinated Care, which is our care management platform. This platform has an extensive provider network, and in this solution, we engage members with a multidisciplinary care team targeting those high-risk members with guaranteed engagement rates. Lastly, our employee assistance program, which is coming in 2025, includes features such as a one-time entry point to care that is accessible 24-7, short-term counseling, mindfulness programs and tools, parenting support, resilience, e-learning, easy to access well-being resources, and digital mental health self-help. Further addressing and supporting our need to support members whole person healthcare. Next slide, please. Okay, so we all know that we live in an increasingly virtual world. Healthcare is no exception to that, especially post pandemic. First, I wanna start off with virtual care in general, noting the importance and prominence of it today. Members we've heard value the convenience and flexibility of virtual care options. We know that you as employers want to provide that value to your members and giving members the ability to access care quickly and conveniently when they need it, it gives an easier and simpler member experience. Also, in offering these virtual care options, you as employers have a lot to gain. There's first a reduction in workplace absenteeism. Second, there's a healthy and productive work environment that will be fostered. And third, you will remain competitive by attracting and retaining talent and offering these solutions. In 2024, as we mentioned, we brought on Teladoc for virtual care, which supports a seamless integrated virtual care experience from primary care to condition management. Next slide, please. So now let's take a step deeper into virtual care. Let's talk about how innovation now supports chronic condition management, which Blue Cross has designed in a seamless approach under the Teladoc Virtual Care Solutions Suite. As part of this broader virtual health services package, Blue Cross works with Teladoc to provide your employees with the solutions that are integrated, coordinated, and easy to access. Let's walk quickly through these exciting programs. First, we have Virtual Primary Care PPO. This is a new offering that allows members to establish a primary care provider, but also more conveniently to access routine care. Our virtual care solution covers urgent care, therapy, and psychiatry to support members virtually in the privacy of their homes or wherever they are when the need arises. I've actually personally used this solution when I was up north on family vacation, and it allowed my whole family to stay put for the weekend. I did not have to drive three hours back, and that was a huge win for us. Um, they also offer mental health self-guided support, which provides members with the flexibility to seek comprehensive tools in their own time about a wide range of topics, including stress, sleep, depression, and more. Finally, our condition management suite provides support for those with diabetes, hypertension, and other lifestyle management programs of interest, such as diabetes prevention and weight management to help members prevent or manage those conditions impacting their lives. Our mission in establishing these virtual care solutions is to provide members with that seamless experience and integration between solutions while also partnering with the best-in-class vendors, which helps resolve any vendor fatigue 
Additionally, expansion of our partnership with Teladoc does just that. In having many virtual solutions through one vendor, there are many advantages for both our customers and our members. Next slide, please. So lastly, we're always looking for ways to help our customers and their employees manage and avoid chronic conditions, which we know are high drivers of trend and spend. In expanding our partnership with Teladoc to bring this suite of solutions to manage diabetes, hypertension, and other associated conditions, we are also able to seamlessly integrate and make available for our fully insured PPO and HMO groups, which started on January 1st, 2024. Once we identify members who are eligible for any of these solutions based on their anchor condition, we are able to help support them with enrollment into whichever program fits their needs. Members, for example, who are in a risk category for developing type 2 diabetes would fall under the Diabetes Prevention Program. Members who don't have diabetes and are not necessarily at risk for developing type 2 diabetes, but do have hypertension, would enroll under the hypertension management solution. And lastly, members who present risk aligning with any of the other three programs who want to, say, proactively manage their weight or who need to enroll in a healthy lifestyle management program to fulfill the GLP-1 drug requirement would fall under the weight management program. From there, each solution also offers comprehensive support for other chronic conditions, such as high cholesterol, in recognition of the fact that so many of these conditions are co-occurring. The idea is that these programs focus on that integrated member experience and measure clinical outcomes to treat a whole person and not just the individual conditions. Of course, each solution also includes the ability to collect member data securely and effortlessly as they move throughout their day. Personalized health signals are used to drive sustained behavior change and also digital and live coaching that meets members where they are and what works with them to achieve their health and lifestyle goals. So today that's a snapshot of our market solutions that help support members' medical and behavioral conditions. Now we'd like to take it even a step further with those specialty benefits. Here to talk about those is Kathy Agnello. Thank you, Kylie. Uh, you've shared a lot of great information about how we protect our members um, overall health. But we also know at Blue Cross that good health goes beyond just the, the medical conditions. Um, that's why we offer an integrated approach uh, with our dental, vision, and financial protection products. Dental care and oral health are really related to overall health, and we know that through a lot of research we've done over the past two years. Same with eye care and vision health. Um, vision health coverage is key to providing um, an opportunity for early detection of certain serious health issues. And then financial protection, when we when we talk about those, we're talking about life, disability, accident, critical illness. These types of coverages really help people with the unexpected expenses when certain health events happen. So let's let's start with dental. And um, if you go to the next slide, we'll talk a little bit about our research. Uh, oral health can't be separated from overall health. And we've known this for a long time but we wanted proof. So over the past two years, we've done a lot of internal and external research to really understand what's going on. Um, some of the stats that you see on this slide are from uh, a study that we conducted with the Center for Health Research Transformation, which is um, connected with the University of Michigan and the University of Michigan Dental School. So uh, there's a lot of detail here. Uh, the thing I really wanna point out is that there is a bi-directional relationship between uh, periodontal disease, bacteria in the mouth, and diabetes and cardiovascular disease in particular, but even other conditions. And when people aren't getting the dental care that they need, they are ending up with serious, more serious um, complications from their health conditions. Uh, for example, um, when people with periodontal disease don't get treated, they, they have a two times higher risk of developing cor coronary artery disease and uh, two to three times higher risk of heart attack or stroke. Uh, people with diabetes who don't get their periodontal treatment or their dental cleanings 
are much more likely to have higher glucose levels and complications from diabetes. And when those complications occur, people end up in the emergency room because the, the pain and uh, what they're going through is unbearable. Uh, so that was the external research that we looked at. And then we wanted to know what happened with our members specifically who have mental, medical and dental coverage with Blue Cross. So if you go to the next slide, this was an internal study we conducted in 2022. So we took a look at our members uh, over a five-year period who had continuous medical and dental coverage with Blue Cross. What we found was that for those members with diabetes who got their recommended dental care, and we were talking about uh, two, two, two cleanings and an exam per year over that five-year period, they had close to a three times lower rate of tooth loss. Um, these, these same diabetic members who received periodontal treatment had a one to 4% lower per member per month spend on medical costs. And for people with cardiovascular disease who got their recommended dental treatment had a 20% uh, lower rate of ER visits and inpatient hospitalizations, as well as 20% lower spend for in each of those categories. So dental care mattered um, according to our data. But, you know, stats are great. In reality, what does that mean? So we have a case study on the next slide. And this is a, this is a true story of a, a Blue Cross member, um, more elderly, he had uh, cardiovascular disease and diabetes and also COPD. Um, he had missed three years of prevent preventive dental visits because he didn't have the benefits. What happened in John's case is um, kind of tragic, actually. He developed a minor cold and then had an oral infection, had to have two teeth extracted. Two days after those teeth were extracted, he was hospitalized for 13 days with bacterial pneumonia. He was immobile for several weeks. Um, he became weak and lethargic. He required inpatient at, at, and at-home physical therapy. Because he was no longer strong, he fell, cut his head, ended up in the emergency room, had two surgeries to repair the wound, thinking about he's diabetic. He is on blood thinners. You know, all of these complications just compounded. Uh, after almost a year, John recovered, but uh, he had incurred $237,000 in medical claims. So we know that John's lack of dental care didn't cause his medical conditions, uh, but the resulting infections triggered um, a chain reaction of costly medical events. Um, and I can tell you, this is a true story. This John was my father, and he was able to recover for a while. And you know, sadly, he passed away last year. But um, not a great story, but it, it is really compelling. So um, we know that we need to keep our uh, our members healthy with proper dental care. Uh, if you go to the next slide. The same is true for comprehensive eye exams. Eye exams can help detect diabetes, glaucoma, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, neurological disorders, a lot of things. We really encourage our vision members to get the proper vision exams that they need. We have two offerings for vision care at Blue Cross, Blue Vision with VSP, um, and we also have Essential Vision with Heritage. VSP is uh, a large industry um, vision care provider network, and Heritage is a locally owned um, partner that we have. And then if you go to the next slide, the thing about offering these coverages at Blue Cross, really our differentiator is integration. We look at data for those members who have medical, dental, and vision coverage with Blue Cross to be able to see their, their conditions, see their habits, target those at-risk members, help them close their dental and vision gaps in care. So we encourage them to have 
more preventive visits, to use their benefits, to have healthy mouth and eyes, uh, fewer medical complications, and ultimately lower overall costs. And from 2022 to 2023, on the dental side, we sent 110,000 reminders for people to close their dental gaps in care. And that would be for someone with diabetes, heart disease, or one of those conditions who hadn't been to a dentist in at least 12 months. Um, and we had about a 55% gap closure rate. Uh, on diabetes, 63% closed their gap. 67% for cardiovascular disease, periodontal disease, 71% gap closure, and even um, pregnancy, we targeted pregnant women and we had a 32% gap closure there. So um, the program works and we are happy to, to report those kinds of results because we care about keep, get, having people get the care they need. Um, beyond Dental and vision. In financial protection benefits offer peace of mind for your employees. We offer group critical illness insurance, group accident, group term life, group short and long term disability. These products, collectively or on their own, help your employees plan for the future, protect their finances, and provide for the unexpected. So what does that mean and what does that look like? Let's let's move on to the next slide. Financial protection benefits guard against the stress of unexpected healthcare expenses. Um, through a lot of research, we know many employees struggle or, or are unable to pay for critical life expenses like food, housing, loans, credit cards. That affects their productivity, presenteeism, absenteeism, turnover, and how employees use existing benefit programs. It is shocking to know that 86% of employees say finances are a top source of stress for them now and in the future, and 53% of Americans do not have an emergency fund. Within that data set, 49% of people surveyed are living paycheck to paycheck. So when you think about a life event happening, a critical illness diagnosis or an accident where somebody has to be on disability or, you know, God forbid, an unexpected death, um, the obvious things are co-pays and out-of-pocket medical expenses and deductibles. The not so obvious things are things like having to go out of network for specialty care, mortgage and car payments, um, help at home with cleaning, lawn maintenance, things you can't do that you normally could, child care, food delivery, um, clothing and home modifications, lost wages, transportation, and even you know, final expenses for funeral and burial. Uh, when you have the right benefits package for your employees with financial protection. This helps safeguard against some of these devastating costs. So specialty benefits from Blue Cross, we are definitely supporting the medical side of coverage that we offer to make sure that our members are protected head to toe. And I think with that, Sarah, we are turning it back over to you. Yep, absolutely. Perfect. Thank you, Kylie and Kathy, for the great content today. It is clear that addressing employee whole health needs is critical. And thankfully, Blue Cross has the programs and solutions to allow employers to do just that. As we close things out today, I want to highlight just a few key takeaways from the session. First, addressing employee whole health needs is important. It supports a productive workforce and helps to control costs. And thankfully, Blue Cross has a full suite of solutions built into their fully insured health insurance plans, most of which are available to our members at no additional cost. But these items help members more easily manage conditions and provide them with convenient care options. And next, 
Although we often think of standard medical conditions when thinking of an individual's health, it is important to remember that teeth and eyes are also indicators of overall health. When partnering with Blue Cross, we proactively outreach to members for both preventive dental and vision exams, helping employers address the whole health needs of their employees. And finally, as we mentioned earlier on, offering a comprehensive employee benefits package is critical to employee recruitment and retention. And including financial protection options within a benefits package helps to ensure that employers are offering all of the benefits employees want to keep them and their loved ones healthy and happy. I appreciate all of you joining today so, so much. If you can't tell, I'm very excited about this content and sharing this information with our members and our customers. We hope you see how Blue Cross's commitment to our members' whole health helps to keep them healthy and productive. Our goal is to ensure that employers and employees are aware of all of the resources available to them through Blue Cross. So if you have any questions regarding any of the information, programs, or resources that we covered today, if you're looking for information on where to locate resources on any of these programs to maybe promote them to your workforce, or if you'd like to learn more about the dental, vision, and financial coverage options available through Blue Cross, please reach out to the email address listed on the screen, and we will be happy to support and provide assistance. We are ending a few minutes early, so I hope that's okay with everyone. Um, but I thank you for joining today and hope you all have a wonderful afternoon.